I think we're both pretty excited and I'm sure you guys are as well. I mean, it's nice to be able to kind of draw from the type of foods that we grew up and then now getting the opportunity to combine those two maybe with your partner in this case. We decided to go with lamb chops. So we're gonna marinate our um, lamb chops mm -hmm. with a bit of Worcester sauce, but what we wanna do is also toast our coriander. Obviously that helps with developing the flavor. I can smell the coriander already. What lemon does to lamb, because it's fatty, it obviously brings out the, that nice natural flavor, especially if you leave it for like a couple of minutes, I would say 15 minutes before you cook it, it does soften the meat, okay? That is an amazing tip. Our Worcester sauce. So we want that to stand a little bit. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of salt as well, but mostly first on the fat. Are you not seasoning the meat? Yeah, we are gonna season it, but I'm one of those people. I don't wanna season it too far ahead of the time. I feel it also toughens it, yes. the outer skin a little bit. Because it draws moisture. Yeah. That's a very good tip I'll carry with me. Oh. Nothing wasted. Uh, you uh. see. And there we go, it's 100%. Oh, we saw that. <laughs> I don't want it to crush it into a powder. We still want to kind of keep some of that texture of the And where are you using coriander. these coriander seeds? We're going to use them on the lamb. For me, I like lamb chops to be more like medium pink. I, I think you get that nice kind of flavor developed much better if it's medium. Yeah. So it should take about, let's say about 10 minutes in the pan. Next up then, talking about combining cultures, I love Asian cuisine. South Africans in general love it because we like sort of bold flavors. Okay, so I've got some maize rice here and uh, we're gonna make like a bit of an egg fried rice. Ooh. Do you guys like egg fried rice? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can really make it your own. Already, we are gonna make it our own using the rice, but I wanna add some different types of veggies as well. Here we have the cool corn. And then we have some kidney beans, mm -hmm. uh, but I want to add some cabbage mm -hmm. and also maybe we add a bit of carrot. Let's start with two eggs. So you can just kind of scramble that for us, please, Arthur. And are you not uh, seasoning the eggs? Not at the moment. Not You'll at the see, moment. you know, there's still a lot of ingredients going in there. And the last thing you want to do is kind of like seasoning everything as you go okay. and end up with something that's maybe too salty. Okay. For over seasoned. Okay, so also for the rice, especially if you add fresh vegetables, because we're gonna cook them fairly quickly, kind of like want it to be nice, thinly sliced. Barney's quite quiet. I don't really enjoy mealy rice, or maybe it's because of when growing up it was just so boring. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing the twist. Kind of a different take yeah. on it. Yeah. So you've had mealy rice? I have. As part I was young and it was just plain mealy rice and I was like, is this rice or what's happening? <laughs> so I was kind of confused. So we're gonna start spring onions. Ginger and garlic goes in. You know, here you can start adding things that you also enjoy. You can add chili if you like chili. Okay, now like when the corn can be fried a little bit and obviously the flavor develops a bit more. This is a fun way of a young Barney eating vegetables and mealy rice at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have shown this to your mama a couple of years ago, eh Barney? <laughs> okay, we're gonna add some of the rice. Got some sesame seeds. Oh, using both white and black. Yeah, I think it looks nice in there. Mm -hmm. Multicultural sesame seeds. <laughs> our kidney beans. Okay, so our egg goes back in there. We have some soy sauce. Oh, my favorite. Okay, now normally you can use a sweet element. Just gonna add a tiny bit of chutney for that bit of sweetness. Ooh. Wow. I have never seen the reason to make egg fried rice until today. Okay, we are ready to plate up if you're ready. I think lamb is ready also. Now I know this is kind of a little bit old school, eh, to kind of mold rice, but I think it looks pretty on the plate mm. and it's very easy to do. I could very easily just have a bowl of the rice too. Oh, yeah. Jeez, please don't cheer that. <laughs> Okay. Very easy to please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like it. Very simple, but loads of flavor in there, you know? Barney, I'm more interested to get your take. Ruben's presentation of the dish is pretty old school, as he would call it. 
but I think it looks pretty magnificent. I like the texture that the maize rice is giving. This is good. Yeah, this fried rice is the one, eh? Mm. Mm. I'm definitely doing it like this from now on. It is delicious. Scrum dilly yum yum purr purr. And you can't even tell that it's mealy rice. Mm. Mm. No, you can't. My life has been changed. <laughs> yeah. My childhood has been restored. Right. You have been converted. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a beautiful medley of flavors. Love how immediately when you bite the meat, it tastes like South Africa. 10 out of 10.